Good day YouTube, Captain Darren here. Call sign is November 4, Victor, Foxtrot, Romeo. Today I'm going to measure the voltage in my home here in Jacksonville, Florida and ensure that I have the correct voltage setting on the OM2000 Plus linear amplifier. When you decide to order an amplifier from any vendor, it is always best to measure the voltage at your home QTH where you plan on using your amplifier. So what I have here, I have a, a multimeter, uh, a cheap one that I ordered via Amazon. And the reason why I got a newer one, because the older one that I had, it was a Craftsman and it was reading a voltage of 190 volts. And I thought that was kind of odd. So down on the Facebook forums, um, a couple of guys said, you know, utilize a, a, a different multimeter and digital multimeter and make sure you can compare the two. So when I bought the newer one, it was reading better. It was reading more like 120, 122 volts, and which is pretty normal for the house where I'm at here. Uh, my house is built back in the 60s, so I'm going to double check that I have the current voltage. So when you have that voltage, uh, you when you're operating on a 220 or 240 volts, you need to make sure you have the correct setting. So when you call or when you order your OM amplifier, in my case, which is what I have, uh, I called RA Solutions and I told them that my voltage was at 250. So then that was when I first ordered it. All right. So when I opened up the the box and got the manual out, inside the manual the factory actually modified this, the voltage setting to my specification. So this is what I, I show. This power amplifier is set for 240 volts, 60 hertz. So um, I'm going to double check my voltage in my house if it's 120 122 you just multiply that by two and that give you your voltage for both phases phase one and phase two all right now we're going to measure the voltage and i'm going to use uh, set it for 500 volts ac and i'm going to put both leads in the hot So we're looking at 117, 118 volts. Okay, with the voltage that we read just now, 118 uh, volts on the, one of those phases, you just multiply by two and, and that comes out to be 236 volts. So now I will open up the OM2000 and verify, although that the factory said they set it at 240. I want to verify myself so I have a warm and fuzzy making sure that the high voltage transformer is set properly so the amplifier operates efficiently. Okay, here's the chapter 7.1 in the manual. Uh, they are saying that the AC voltage it's, is switchable to 220, 230, or 240 volts. And from the factory, they said it's set for 230 volts. All right, listen up. Warning, there is 3000 volts DC that is very lethal to human life. So please be careful if you do open your amplifier. What I like to do is I like to leave it unplugged and with the power switch off. Right now I have no antennas connected to it and uh, wait at least more than 10 minutes so that the capacitors inside has time to discharge. All right, what I'm gonna do now, I'm just going to move my amplifier and put it on the table. My house is so small that this is actually my bedroom operating as a, a radio shack, my, ra my radio station. All right, slowly moving this out the way. Disconnect the power cord. I don't have 240 set up yet. Disconnecting my RCA cable. 
and the ground is a ground in here I'm just using a six gauge wire for my ground and that's ground to the radio bus to the station ground outside the window Let's take a look on the inside. It's so pretty on the inside. Nice and clean, neat, organized. And there's the tube. There you have it. Verified that my OM2000 is set correctly for 240 volts. If you like my video, please consider to subscribe, give me a likes, and we'll see you on the next video. This is N4VFR signing off. Thank you for watching.